Because you're not your own. You belong to God. The kingdom of God is within you. Now, where is the house of God? God that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is Lord of all. He dwelleth not in temples made hands. He doesn't dwell in this. But he dwell in us. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Of course, in the natural, he spoke to Israel through Haggai. Thank you, God. But today, in the spiritual, he speaks to the church. Yes. Note the declaration. The glory of the latter shall be greater than the former. What a God, what a God. So if you and I are God's domain, if you and I are God's domain, if God dwells within us, and the fact is, on several occasions we have sinned and come short of the glory of God, we have fallen short. Big time. But that which was laid on my heart to tell you today, for those who are despondent, depressed, sad, and confused, and harboring the thought that you will never rise again, I'm here to tell you. The glory of your latter days. Oh, hallelujah. Shall be greater than the former. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The move of the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life in your latter days. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. It's going to be greater than your former. So you are saying to yourself, what? I used to pray and I'm not praying anymore. You're going to pray better than you used to pray. Hallelujah. Oh, come on now. I'm going to speak this into your spirit right now. Receive it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. The former thing shall be restored, but the latter will be greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you shout hallelujah, it's going to be more anointed than it ever was before. Somebody ought to exercise your faith and shout your hallelujah right now. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. You used to lay hand on the sick and they recover. You don't see it happening anymore. Your latter is going to be greater than your former. Somebody shall do it. Shall do it. Shall do it. United Tabernacle Church of Jesus Christ, Apostolic, 425, South Jefferson Street, Orange, New Jersey, 07050. Good God Almighty, the glory shall be greater in the latter house. Let the glory, let the glory fill this place. Somebody let the glory fill this place right now. Let the glory fill this place right now.
shall be so. It shall be so. I said it shall be so. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell me it shall be so. I don't care what the devil say. It shall be so. I don't care what the neighbor say. It shall be so. Wait a minute. First lady. First lady. <laughs> Some act like they love you but they hate you. I curse them. speak like that because I know what it was to be there. As we progress in ministry, we tend to become a bit more sophisticated. A little bit more formal. And we walk with the script. I've heard some folks say, go on to the days when you open your mouth and the Lord fill it with words. They say, you've got to prepare, you've got to study. I said, yes, you've got to study. Yes, you've got to prepare. But if God has not changed, it means I can still go without a script. That's right. That's right. I came here last night with a word from the throne and I didn't carry a script. I came here today with a word from the throne. I didn't carry a script. That's right, that's right. That's right. That's right. Because sometimes when you have a script, you mess up God's script. Because you feel like you need to get to a certain point in the message when God is saying, This is where I want you to start. I mean, the singers remember when you used to sing with the anointing. It's not because you're not practicing him anymore. How many of you remember when you used to pray and felt like heaven came down? How many of you remember when you used to testify and the whole place would be on fire when you give your testimony? It's not lost. It's coming back. It's coming back. Glory. The latter house will be greater than the former. Hallelujah. 